says that he's gonna get this steal. Once it says you're gonna get the steal, this is a good pass, by the way. Even now, it's a good pass. Dude is flat-footed, and the ball literally just goes straight to his outside hand. I can mean to his inside hand. I mean, it's, it's like well. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good morning, that damn 2K land, man. Check this out, man. We got a great show for y'all today, bro. We got a lot going on. I didn't drop any videos this weekend. We had a very eventful weekend, man. You know, I had to go get some things, secure a couple of things. Uh, went to the Falcons game yesterday, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, hey, dudes was getting into it. But you know the Saints is our rivals and all that good stuff. Big win right there. People was walking away like like the game was already over, man. Like it was like it was sweet. You know what I'm talking about? The Saint fans thought it was, they thought it was pearl. This ain't pearl milling what it used to be. Yeah, Aunt Jemima syrup sweet, but it wasn't. Y'all was wrong. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. But it was a good game, though, man. We enjoyed it. We had a great time. And um, took the kid there. Some friends was there. And uh, you know, young Waku coming through with the with the uh, three points from 58 yards out was uh, was awesome, man. But hey, that ain't what we here to talk about, man. What we here to talk about is 2K and stuff like that. If you're a Saints fan, Falcons fan, put it down there. Did your team win yesterday? Did we win, lose, whatever? Let me know. And uh, we just gonna get right into it, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below because y'all already know what we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Addis! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family, I love each and every last one of y'all, man. Y'all the goats, man. Just like goat status, go status, go, go status, go. Anyway, man, check it out. Without further ado, if y'all know the intro, for the last 15, 16 years, whatever y'all want to call it, here we go. Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Don't y'all feel like sometimes it's you just incapable of feeling bad, man? That's how I feel today because I see this picture of Joe knows. Bro, who did this? Who went and took the picture of Joe knows? We got Emo Joe up here, man. Check it out, bro. This is hilarious. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They took that right there and made, and made that. <laughs> bro, why y'all do that to my boy, man? Tell him something, Joe. What, what's going on, man? But hey, that's too funny, man. Chalk said, at least you, at least you aren't, <laughs> aren't one of those guys with the drippy face scans. Uh, you comfortable with being with, <laughs> with being you, Big W. And then obviously Lily say LMAO. And then Yardman says, hey, me general ton real Yardman. Hey, man. Hey, he said, you know, he did ton, ton real Yardman. Hey, man. Hey, real Yardman, man. You know what I'm talking about? So, hey, not to be confused with the UK road man. But hey, it is what it is, man. That ain't what we here to talk about. We just thought that was funny to start the show off, man. You got to start it off with levity. But that boy Quavius Young is something on something real serious, man. I said it would be under a month or a month or so. And then he just says 2K died in three months weeks now i myself don't feel like the game is dead i feel like the game is very much alive as far as from a playing standpoint but if he's talking about from a content creation and um our standpoint and, and view standpoint yeah you're probably right about that man it, it's it's tough man it, it just is what it is man he said hey every every top rep dang they're selling their account and they say yep already is that lmao after i got beat by by 260s at, at twos i deleted the game I deleted the game, bro. And then dude say, I respectfully disagree. I agree with the disagree, man. I agree with disagreeing because I don't think it's dead. I don't think the game itself is dead, but I think that a lot of people have lost interest because the game, like people, people in other games, when, you, when you're challenged or you got to sweat constantly and stuff like that, you know, it's cool, but 2K community is just not like that. This is not one of those ones. Like they, they're telling us you can't, like they, they don't want to play against people that are squatted. They don't want to play against people that are running. So hold on. They don't want to play against people that are squatted. Dang. They don't want to play against people that are running zone. Dang. They don't want to play against people that are actually a team or organized or, or, or running five out. Dang. It's like, I don't know what they, dang, dang, dang. I mean, like it's not basketball. Shit. So I don't know what they really want to play against, but this is not the, uh, you know, with skill-based match, matchmaking being implemented and you having to sweat every game and, you know, everybody's uh, Brock Woodson out there, Dion Prime, Dion, or Daryl Green. That's they, they, they don't want to play against that man. So for a lot of content creators and stuff like that, as far as that goes, it might be uh might be dead. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm struggling to find a video that's a hit. I might have to turn into a my GM guy, something like that, bro. I have absolutely no idea. But but uh from from this standpoint, uh, I don't think the game is dead. I think it's very much alive. I think a lot of people are rocking with the game. But if he's talking about in, in terms of the grand scheme of thing uh things uh with your opportunity to blow up 
it, it, he might be right, man. Because, you know, if somebody blows up every year, I ain't, we ain't seen nothing happen this year, man. And it could be. It, it could be this. It could be that. And I could just be wrong. I might just be, might be watching the right people. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Is it already there? Then he came back. And I like this right here. Because, you know, they used to call them guys my career players. And what he said, hey, so my career in Road to 99 wasn't so bad after all, huh? Look at everybody playing starting five. And somebody, here they said, no, no, here they go with this starting five low-key lit. Man, shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up, like my boy Hard Eight say, man. Ain't nobody was playing starting five. Last year, people were sitting there telling you, if you uh, <laughs> if you playing starting five, then you scared to play some competition. Boy. And then, like, what, what's the difference between starting five and my career? It's all the same thing. You go in there, it's on extra rookie. You can take all the bad shots you want to. You can do all the crazy stuff you want to. And then nobody, and nothing's gonna happen. Like, it's just, it's literally like playing the game on rookie. And then you got four bots instead of five bots, man. But, hey, I'm not mad at it, though. I ain't. I'm, I'm, I mean, it, it is what it is, man. He said, I played a game. I played a game the other day, and uh, it's better. It's better than the, it's better than the different modes. I also feel less delayed in there. Yeah, it is less delayed in there. He said, I might have, to, I might make a seven foot three score or something like that. That's cool, man. Hey, man, it, it, it's, it is what it is, man. The game is what you make it, man. Take away, but uh, my boy TJ, AKA Statistics, he said, hey, man, starting five is the rep method right now. If y'all not in starting five, you're tweaking. So if you get, if you get, uh, like double rep and ain't nobody on or something like that, man, I guess go play starting five. I'm, I, don't really like star five because i don't have a score but if you have someone that can score or a score on your team or something like that maybe i would like starting five now since i rhythm shoot i'm gonna actually go in there and try that out for y'all man i'm gonna go into starting five and i'm just gonna keep passing myself the ball and rhythm shoot and see if it's gonna let me just rhythm shoot over uh the pcs or whatever because it's gonna do that then i can get my rep in there and i can just get it in peace man because because a lot of this game is just getting rep in peace like this right here like you know i can run around if i can do this in starting five that's probably what i'll do man and uh i think you should be able to because that boy dime work is just showing y'all right here he's dime work showing y'all that dime work where you can really take shots like this and he just says hey my regular jumper versus the jumper i got trying to shoot over somebody in the corner perfect example of how rhythm shooting saves lives because if i had if i had shot a regular timing I would definitely have missed. And so this is where he goes. He's showing y'all right here. This is the regular jumper. Nice and, you know, it's a regular slow jumper when you're open. And then now he's shooting over somebody. You see, you see how it, it looks different. It just looks way different. So you still have to get the the rhythm time and the tempo time. And it's definitely different on these. But, you know, it might be easier to time both of them or what have you. So, uh, hey, I just say govern yourselves accordingly. But like I said, now that I'm on team rhythm shooting and I have been since the jump, um, I feel like, I feel like, you know, maybe starting five would be something for me, man. Up next, hey, we got that boy. Uh, we got that boy Quavio, Quavius Young once again saying, I take it back. I said, Patty, I mean, I take it back, take back what I said. Patty is the best base in the game. No cap. And then he said, hey, you, <laughs> he said, you a troll. <laughs> he a troll, KPJ is better. And then we got, uh, we got a flu game. Hey, man, he's just saying, hey, man, the game is fun. Now he got his Steve Francis and Patty, man. He said, I, he said, he said, hold up. Let me make sure that the desktop audio is off. Because y'all be want to put these mixtapes out there, bro. And I'm not getting the copyright or whatever. But anyway, here you go with that Patrick. And I turned it off and it still came back on. Look at him. Okay, spam dribble, little spam dribble. He reached right there. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay, I hit starter for. Look at that Patrick. I don't know if you're not going to be able to get contests on patrick like you used to be like you used to couldn't get him on there but hey we're gonna see because like he don't have his shot feed back on so we don't know if these are lightly contested or not um i don't even know if that would have been contested or what have you in this game because you, the game doesn't know who you're defending like they, they, never before in 2k like in this 2k more than any other 2k i feel like you literally have to click the icon on the person that you're defending um you just got to do it way more now because it, it'll go away from that and then you won't even know who you're defending so like when i see some of these clips man and you see like everybody's just spinning around and stuff like that's the reason like they cannot you can't defend the guy because you don't know i don't even think the pc i mean the computer knows who you're gonna defend man but hey it is what it is up next we got that boy swan they say i can't stand i can't stand when mike is playing god on this joint apparently the defender is an airbender 
or something and this is what he got right here man like these are the steals that we're talking about bro i don't care about the good steals the steals such as this are the ones that get on my nerves it's predetermined that he's gonna get a steal this dude is clearly beaten for a back door to the rim there's nothing that this guy can do he's got his back turned to him maybe he can throw his hand up or something but still the ball is going to be thrown here you're gonna because you can't you want you don't want to throw it over his head so if the game has some logic it's gonna throw it along this line right here out of his reach but but also out of his reach so he should be catching the ball right in there and look what happens oh he catches the ball exactly where i said he's gonna catch it but it's just the other guy like this is what i was saying like when people get beat beaten in this game and they just press the button and now the game takes over and says that he's gonna get this steal once it says you're gonna get the steal this is a good pass by the way even now it's a good pass dude is flat-footed and the ball literally just goes straight to his outside hand i can mean to his inside hand i mean it's, it's like where, where did he do to deserve that steal why would you even press the button in that situation when you're beating that badly instead of getting back this is why people are just pressing the button and, and then they get a bucket this is why people are just going for steals, man, because they're just completely overpowered. I would never even know you could do that because I would never go for that steal. Why did he just throw the ball directly to him? That is absolutely ridiculous, unacceptable, and I, and I won't go for it. I won't stand for it or whatever. And there's probably somebody in the comment section trying to defend it. <laughs> but if he was in position, he was in the Shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up. Bro, he wasn't in any type of position. Let's see if somebody's trying to, trying to defend that right there, man. Hey, man, he said, he said I don't know. Once you master it, it's tough. So I guess this is, I guess this, this is another one where they say, once you master, once you, what in the world happened here? Oh, y'all can't see it, man. Oh, oh, this is something else, man. This is somebody talking about once you master rhythm shooting, it's tough. So I, this is what I was looking. At. I'm like, bro, what? I'm like, bro, what? What are you? What are you talking about? But I guess you gotta, I, I guess you gotta uh, master air bending with the jump pass. Like they're like Mario Brothers or something like that, bro. I, I don't know, man. Hey, some of this stuff in this game, and then great tempo or late, whatever. Some of the stuff in this game is just absolutely hilarious. That's all you can do is laugh at it, man. So I get what they're saying. But what's not hilarious is what my boy Splash talking about. And we saying, he said, dang. So people uh, people who never changed their jump shot speed to three out of four wasn't lying. And, and we were saying, yeah, it does make it more consistent. NBA 2K Labs came through and they're just saying that, hey, if you have, if you use the jump shot on normal, you're going to, um, you, you're around 70%. If you're on very quick, 69 or 59%, quick is 66 uh, normally you'll be around about 70% which is just a normal like an A or something like that or if you back it you know you don't match your jump shot speed out and I've known I've always said this for years I told y'all if you if you drop it excuse me you can see it in the time stability too if you drop it down if you get a jump shot and max it out like a maxed out A and you drop it down then you'll be more consistent and um and, and that just shows right there and that's some of the premium data that they got man they just got the release speeds right here we just gonna show, show them to y'all right here boom uh and then you got you got right here if you are if you are on normal you're 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 you know you're just gonna hit way more shots throughout the green window more or less is the best way that i can explain it. if you're on very quick you, you got a high make percentage here but if you're on normal you got a high make percentage you know for a longer period of time or what have you and then if you're on quick you, you it's it's high then it's really high and then it goes down so this this chart right here so this really would tell you that uh, it really would depend on what you what you're what you're looking for because here here on quick it seems like but see it's not for as long though so it is just one of those joints man you just got to look at it with them and and see but you got to subscribe to the premium service to get that man i ain't i, I can't be giving y'all all the sauce man i ain't got no code of that man but hey it just is what it is man they're gonna break it all the way down for y'all and y'all will know joey i mean this is koza right here joey I mean, koza say hey me and joey was in the wreck and uh we got iced out by two randoms lmao pure buddy ball also uh also passed each other uh, passed each other other gameplay community gotta do better and more or less what he's talking about here is you know they got frozen out man uh in, in one of these games it's crazy because they will do this to you you start scoring too many points they're not giving you the ball and they lost the game i think that's the only reason they care um i played a game like that i had 15 in the first i didn't see the ball again i think i ended up with 17 for the game we won so i didn't care but it's just crazy that like once they see your man not defending you 
they'll just sit there and look at you and not pass the ball, man. And then, you know, it just is what it is. Up next, this is what I was here for today, man. Fellas, I'm ready to get up and do my thing. Hey, man, look. It says, uh, this is what Splashy said. He says, today, today I have to see, <laughs> today I've seen people call Day Fry terrible uh, because he plays on. Dudes say that they will easily score on Bear, Bear, TJ, and DJ running a reverse stack. And dude, uh, dudes, dudes say Glizzy, who probably the best two guard, the second best two guard on this joint is terrible. This stuff is a movie. And this is what he was talking about right here, man. He was like, he said, get you some wine and look at how people swear that they're gonna score on Bears reverse stack uh, or whatever. Now, I ain't never called this a reverse stack, man. We just call this just our base defense. This is just our our regular defense. So it's like, um, but it is a reverse stack. So, so we're gonna go at it like that. That's what we're gonna call it. Uh, Cause Bear call it that. Now. Uh, I'm gonna let him take it away for a second and explain to y'all what he's talking about. Here we go. To the people that's struggling with defense and need some rotations, yeah, it's a lot don't of understand some stuff or don't understand when to do it. This guy's been dribbling for a little while now. He said he's been dribbling for a little while, so now it's time to pass him off because the likelihood of him taking a shot is very low. Let's continue. Um, and this is reverse stack, so just pay attention. The ball so this is right here is reverse stack. So this is what I would do in this situation, right? Depending on what happens here, uh, let's just see what's going to happen. Handler the is ball handler is here. And he's protecting the middle. Boom. Okay. Everybody's in good position. Right here, you would say everybody stay. Fine. So, as he goes wing. Right here, you get hit by the screen. Now, this is what we would do in this situation. I don't know who this is right here, but this guy, he's going to pick up the ball handler. He's already been dribbling for a little bit. Cool. Center's going to drop. Hash, you go to the corner. And then whoever's here, you got to get to the hash. Now, the biggest thing is, uh, th the biggest thing is here, everybody's going to know their rotation. But for some reason, this damn hash loves to holler out, <laughs> I got two, I got two, I got two over here. Can somebody help me, please? Shut the f up. Do your job. That's all you got to do. Do your job. Let the everybody else worry about that. Or if you feel that way, play in between until you see the first pass to this guy right here. But you can play in between. 2K allows you to defend two people with one. But just do your job and allow somebody, let it be somebody else's fault. But that's what, all, this is why this rotation always fails with, with regular people, casuals, whatever you want to call it, like just extra regular people like me that don't, that don't know. It's always on this guy right here crying about he, I got two. Just go to your rotation and rely on this guy to get to his hash. And that's all you got to do. But let's see what Bear's talking about. You let the power forward, take the wing, the center exactly slide into the paint. The right Correct. wing, the lockdown, now slid to the right corner. And the guy mm -hmm. that was guarding ball goes to the right wing. Boom. This is called reverse stack. Simple rotation. This is a good defense to get you a few stops if your pick and roll is getting dog. Now, we don't even run it like like that's our standard rotation and i think that's a lot of people's standard rotation but let's see what people are talking about in the comment section he says i always love reading the comments on how they just know know this rotation is going to show up at the ex i mean at the exact time mess around and switch uh, mess around they just switch and now it's the pick six the other way exactly he said i mean i think i, I mean i think the stack and reverse stack are the hardest rotations i've ever seen to uh to dot or abuse but maybe they're just better than me and dude says kind of easy honestly i just watched it a couple of times uh let me say play him and show me then he says hey i can think of one i can think of one i can think of one two counters uh for these rotations he said go play versus bad and them and show me that's what i be saying man like people love saying this and that but you know he said he said not easy okay this is what dude said not easy to beat beat but easy to reset and get a uh get a good look just have the center slide right just have a center slide right under the dunker spot, then the PC reset back on the left wing. Okay, so the PC, the, the, the PC reset on the left wing in your corner, uh, set screens assuming that he has strength. And by the way, the whole thing, like this this is not, I'm gonna tell you right now, like, this will work if, if somebody don't do something, but but I get what he's trying to say. He's trying to say you, you have the PG just, the PG already got the ball, so having reset on the left wing, but a lot of people don't like to go certain ways or whatever. And I promise you that back in power four, he's gonna be more than capable of defending a tired PC, PG. He probably can't defend him uh, from the jump. If it's Gambit, he probably can. If it's Wavy, he probably can. If it's Thunder, he definitely, you know, he probably can. But you know, uh, 
if he's tired, you, it's not about to happen, man. But hey, it is what it is. But hey, like, like I said, I, I'm with I'm with Splashy. Just show him. Just show him, bro. Because if it's done properly and everybody believes in it and everybody trusts each other, you don't have any issues at all with that rotation. It's, it's dope, man. Up next, hey, how to stop post scores, uh, man. This is how you say you, 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 you got to stop post scores, man, in, in this joint, man. He said, hey, you got to equip the running man emote that Rick Ross thing, you know what I'm talking about? And then just run in the post every time they try to do it and thank him later. Y'all let me know if that works, man. I don't know if it works. I know I know he says it works. You know, it is what it is. But um, we'll see this. And last but not least, we got that boy, Uncle Demi saying, man. Hey, just my two cents on the current skill-based matchmaking. Rex shouldn't have, shouldn't have a squad uh, just the randoms with players being matched up with teammates on their skill level. Okay, Pro-Am shouldn't be in the game. Uh, Pro Am shouldn't be in the Pro Am shouldn't be in the game as it literally takes away from the proving ground, which should be skill based matchmaking. That that's crazy though because uh, I mean I gotta call it what it is, man. That's crazy because Pro Am they do matchups and stuff. They don't even really a lot of those guys don't even really get in the skill based matchmaking. But I do understand what he's trying to say. You want to reduce the number of game modes so that there are more people to play. But that's not gonna be the issue. That's not gonna be the thing. Once you advance past a certain level, there just aren't sufficient people to play in the game. Instead of prioritizing your connection connection and your skill level it prioritizes your plate and your build level so i think if they could just fix skill based matchmaking it wouldn't be so broken but i, I do will see what he's saying a hey, pro am shouldn't be in the game um as it literally takes away from the proving grounds uh which should be skill based matchmaking which it is and, and, and they are probably better than the wreck and now that's a better experience than the wreck but i digress park shouldn't be skill based matchmaking at all theater shouldn't be skill based matchmaking either i can see that but it really doesn't matter to me I, I don't i don't care who i play uh just matchmaking just matching teams with similar skills i, I can dig that and lastly 1v1 should be mains a mainstay in the theater with no skill based matchmaking and matchups should be against similar heights uh Basically, proving grounds should be the only arena with skill-based matchmaking. And like I said, I, I whatever you want to do, man, it ain't gonna make me no difference. Really, they can do do say I disagree slightly. Slightly, uh, squads should still be allowed in the wreck, but not a five-stack three players maximum. So it uh, so it still move. So it's still more uh, pickup environment. I actually like this idea. What is y'all problems with squads? Do y'all not have no friends or something, bro? Like, I'm just going to keep it a stack with y'all. If you ain't got nobody to play with, if you can't find five, four people, if you've been playing 2K, because all of y'all been playing 2K since 2K16 or 15 or 14, since the heyday or whatever, if in 10 years you haven't found four people that are capable of playing, that, you know, on your level that you can play with uh, here and there, I'm just going to keep it a buck with you. Your ass, okay? If you haven't found four people, four other people that are like-minded in 10 years, your ass. You don't have anybody to play with because nobody wants to play with you because you're ass. That's just it. There's nothing else to it. Like I can see if this was the second year of the game or the third year or whatever, bro. If you got nobody to play with in 10 years, you're ass. And, and nobody wants to play with you. You probably need to pick. Bro, Big Mac got, uh, got, got a solid squad to play with all the time. You know what I'm talking about? Like, come on, man. Like, it, 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 like you, you ain't got no, bro. You just got to take your lumps, bro. Like, why why we hate squads so much? You're mad at me because I got somebody to play with. We ain't about to go play no programs and pro-am leagues, bro. We don't have, the, we're not good enough to do that. We don't take the game seriously enough to do that. So you want to punish people for having friends by making them play against Bear and that reverse stack bullshit? I love, I love the reverse stack, by the way, because we rent it. But I'm not about to do that. I want to play casually too. I don't want to go out there and sit there and sweat every day, which I'm doing anyway in the wreck. I want to sweat all the time and do all of this. I want to go out there and shine on uh, shine on people that's garbage, cause I can do, I mean, so I can do hood rat shit with my friends. That's what I want to do. I don't want to sit there and try to sweat every day after I work an eight hour shift and print 300 transfers in here and do all of that and then. The next thing I got, my reward for this is playing the, uh, it, my reward for this is playing Captain America and LeBron and, and, and Team USA. And then when, and the times I don't get them, I get the, uh, what, Serbia with, with, with Nikolai, with Nicole, with, uh, Nikola, Nikola Jokic and his squad. 
and bog down and bog down but get out of here bro ain't nobody trying to do that stuff man you're not gonna punish me because i got friends and 2k vehemently disagrees with you so we just gonna keep going with they go i understand what y'all are saying though i truly do but maybe they should have a section in there that says ass and if you're ass you go into that section you know i don't want to play against nobody i don't ever want to play against nothing whatever whatever no teams no nothing there's a door in the wreck that says ass and you just get a mixed bag and then everybody else gets everything else man because like i just don't see what yeah we, we got people mad at teams you're mad at zone you're mad at five out I'm, I'm with Splashy on this, so pretty much anything that y'all can't fuck with, y'all are mad at. All right, man. It is what it is, man. Just legislate it out the game, too, then. I mean, I guess I guess we're going we gonna to legislate dudes that get money out the game and and tall guys. We just going to just not have them in life and with luxurious hair. And you know what I'm talking about? Dudes that hit the gym every day. We just going we to take all the competition out of life. It ain't going to never be nothing else. You never got to run into anything in this in this candy candy cake ass age you don't never got to run into nothing that i don't let me get out of here man that's that's crazy to me but i do understand what he's saying as far as they're not sufficient people to play the game or whatever but i mean i just think that's a bit much going like because i y'all y'all have wanted nobody to have squats in the wreck all the time well then i tell you what if we can't have squats in the wreck i don't want to see no more three stacks in the park take your take your ass to team pro-am to 3v3 pro-am and do that that's what you need to be doing but y'all ain't gonna do that though See, like people always try to fix the argument but anyway let me go man i gotta get up out of here hopefully y'all enjoyed the video because i can talk about this all day but i'm making too much sense so y'all probably didn't already tuned me out let me know what y'all think about the conversation how to tell next time till next time i love each and every last one of y'all it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.